mid-1960s Packard Bell roundy color television. I guess this is part three. Today we're going to do the cataract, which is what you see here with the CRT, the discoloration, the ring. And if you're new to this, I'll try and explain it as I go through. If you're seen me do a bunch of these, you know it's a common problem. Um, it's a bit of a high-risk operation. If you're an impatient person, you don't want to attempt to do this. You have to be patient and take your time. It's delicate. You have to use safety gear because the CRT could explode. I Implode. I'm sorry. Let me implode. But it doesn't matter. You're going to get sprayed with a bunch of glass, which if you don't have safety gear on, you could really get hurt. So basically what this is, is if you want to think of this like a car window, a car windshield, where, you know, most car windshields are uh, laminated, where there's two pieces of glass with a piece of plastic in the middle, that's sort of what this is. There's a, uh, the front here is a, and you'll hear how this sounds now and how it sounds afterwards. Here's an after shot. You can hear the difference. A glass lens and then there's a bonding agent or like a clear epoxy that they pour in between the lens and the actual CRT picture tube. And what happens is over time the moisture, apparently the moisture gets in and you get this contamination or rotting of that clear plastic epoxy PVA whatever you want to call it so what we have to do is we have to get that apart clean that out and then we put it back together when we put it back together it's hollow there's a space between the safety factor is largely deleted because you don't have that three layer bonded together laminated setup so you just can't kick it or throw footballs at it or abuse it. You have to treat it very delicately. There's really no other alternative at this point that is easy to the end user to actually do. And there's no one rebuilding CRTs that could safety band it or, or reapply the clear bonding agent. So you just have to understand and except that you no longer have a bonded safety lens CRT and there's an element of fragility. Is that the word being fragile? So you have to treat it as such. So first thing to do, we need to get the CRT out. So the first thing I'm going to do, let me get a paint marker. I'm going to mark all the stuff on the CRT. Then I'm going to yank it all off. See how I put the white dots here? And I think technically the clover leaf is supposed to go over that red band. So it's too far forward. But who am I to re-engineer this thing? As long as I think the convergence was decent. So anyway, I'm ready to strip all this stuff off. And that did just help me get it, you know, back quicker to s don't have to set it up all over again from scratch yeah I see I see now why this thing was loose I might have to um, use some silicone to hold this onto the neck of the CRT because broken yeah about this you know there's always this myth and extreme fear surrounding people that I guess that don't work on these all the time and I'll admit I'm a I'm a bit too careless but I see people cut this wire, they don't know how to get this out, they're scared of this. For one thing, this set has been off for two weeks, so there's no power here. If I had just run it, see how that works? If I had just run it and turned it off, I might stick a, screw, a grounded screwdriver under there and ground it out, but even that, it, you know, it, it can pop you but it's nowhere near the intensity of a modern high-energy spark on a car. 
I mean, it'll hit you. Maybe if you have a heart condition or a pacemaker, it could hurt you. Or if you jump and bang your head into something, it could hurt you. I like how they added the degaussing coils here. This is pretty classy. This spring right here is to ground the outside of the CRT. It's very important. Do not throw it away. Okay, it is loose. I uh, I'd love to leave the band on it if I could. Some ground clip. Um, yeah, let me let me lift it out. I think I can get it out with the chassis still in place. It is the original Packard Bell tube, and yeah, I'm gonna have to take the support band off. I marked it simply because I'm the first one to take this CRT out of this set since it was installed by the factory. The other thing I would say about doing this is if you ain't can't deadlift a hundred pounds straight up and hold on to that amount of weight and manipulate it around uh, maybe don't try and do this because this is heavy and if you lose control of it uh, it can if you drop it you're gonna regret it the Sun is your friend so we're gonna remove this using heat and I gotta be very clear there's two styles of these there's the RCA Steyr style Steyr there's the RCA Steyr and there's the Xena Steyr the Xena Steyr is a greenish yellow and doesn't rot like this does it has to remove be removed with a like a piano wire or a hot wire so in order to try and be educational here and maybe help somebody else do this that's what I'm trying to do I think uh, of course are we gonna have like a monsoonal day and not have any Sun because I'm going to let this cook in the sun and get as hot as I can get it. Then I'll use a heat gun to remove the rest of it. But I like to really get it as hot as possible in the sun. So the way they build these is this is wrapped with tape. They set the lens on there. I'm sure there's more to it than this. This is wrapped with tape. What they do is under this green tape is the little hole where they where they squirt this liquid in you know this is liquid and then it dries clear I'm just going over this because I always get a, a bunch of questions of what is that why is that so you got the tube then you got this clear what this is supposed to be clear then you got this and it makes up layers that are I don't think you could kick this in. I, if you'd have to hit this awfully hard with a hammer to break it. So you gotta get the tape off. But yeah, this is the hole where they fill it right here. This little thing. This is where they originally filled the glaze in there. So we gotta get the tape off. Okay, the tape is off. Now the waiting game begins. Uh, give yourself a day to get the lens off and a day for it to dry before you put it back together. Don't rush. You will fail. We support Palestine over here. At least we don't buy stuff made in China when we can help it. Anyway, I'm going to wrap my head with this. Um... It's been sitting in the sun for several hours. I'm just kind of wearing old junk clothing from the surplus store. Uh, not one inch of my skin is going to be exposed. I don't think this is going to be a big deal taking this off. Usually what I do is I'll scrape this out and put chopsticks in here and start lifting up on it. But this one, 
let me get this thing wrapped up. The only area really holding on is this area right here. The, the rest of it, and it's pretty damn hot just from the sun. The rest of this area here is, is already divorced. So I think this is gonna come off pretty easy. Um, like I said, I'm wrapped up, no exposed skin. If it does blow up, it would make for some good video. Looks like it's already kind of working its way in. Starting to go. See the fingers right there going in?
There it goes. It's free. The hell. Oh, you want to play like that, huh? It's free. It you can see it divorce. Usually I use chopsticks, but I guess this time I thought, well, it's so bad. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and... There we go. So let me... Oh, is anybody interested in smelling it? You want to smell it? Here, sniff it. A friend wanted this to do some testing on. Maybe he wants to try and find a solvent that will dissolve it. Anyway, um, I'm going to put this aside as a sample. Okay, I could clean the rest of this off. Wow, the CRT is real hot in the middle and it's colder on the outside. I let that equalize. Vacuum filled pressure bulb. Once you, uh, you're out, pretty much out of the danger zone. Once you get that off, um, I'm still wearing eye protection. I have my head wrapped up. VacuumFilledPressureBulb.com This model has red, green, and blue transistors in it. And there you go. The pressure bulb is now clean. Yeah, and, and cleanliness is absolute because once you seal it, that's it. So anything you don't clean off, you seal in forever inside the vacuum-filled pressure bulb. The envelope of the vacuum-filled pressure bulb. It's another reason to use gloves and not get the oil from your skin onto the pressure bulb. I made one adjustment to how I'm going to do this from now on, which is... I break my chopsticks in half and I tape them to the side. Uh, 90 degrees apart. 
so that it, it acts as a guide to set the lens down and it'll hold the lens from sliding while I silicone it. So now I need to get my double stick tape and Kuchon Fruchalucha Blucher around the outside. I got four pieces of uh, double stick tape as my spacer and I'm using, well, on this one I'm using black silicone one. You want to use silicone one on this, you never want to use silicone one on chassis or electronics or transformers. This is the stuff that stinks that they use for fish tanks. Okay, it's siliconed all the way around. Now the key is just to you go around and push it and make sure you're airtight because if you're not airtight you're gonna suck dust in there. The high voltage will attract dust in between the safety lens and the CRT. So you gotta be sure you're airtight and now I've just gotta let it dry. And I might just let it dry overnight. Sure does look a lot better. I mean it's hard to tell with the pattern from the plant tree on it but basically this is what we were trying to look through before you know this this was the edge it's not not very uh, not very good at letting light through is it and then this was the the clear part so that's the clear part and that's the edge okay going back together what a difference huh look at how that looks looks like I need to slide it over a little bit towards the knobs I really like this degaussing with the springs I got the dag spring back on uh, I went back and looked at my earlier video I got it all back in there exactly same how it was so I'm gonna put the metal sh thing on and then we're good I might clean the neck because I'm gonna have to glue that uh, convergence clover leaf thing on there it is powered up I want to keep an eye on everything here Sounds like high voltage. Okay, that's good.